Hey guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. In today's vlog, we're going to Orlando. I love, love Orlando. It's so much fun. There's so much to do. Um, we are actually heading over to Universal Orlando Resort. We're gonna check into Cabana Bay and do some Halloween Horror Night activities. This is actually gonna be a two-part vlog. We have two separate days, so make sure to stay tuned for both. Let's get this show on the road. Do you guys see Luna peeking right? Luna! <laughs> She's never happy when we have to drop her off. And she knows, she's like, my humans are leaving me again. But anyway, before I get sad about thinking about leaving Luna, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> We got to the hotel at Cabana Bay. We upgraded to a suite, so I can't wait to show you guys that. But it wasn't ready yet, so we decided to just give us a quick change and we're heading into Volcano Bay now. I'm gonna bring the GoPro to film Volcano Bay for you guys as much as I can. They do not allow videoing on the water sides, but I'll show you as much as I can. I love Volcano Bay. The weather's getting a lot better now, which I'm happy about, but it is what it is. Let's go. devices I mean, so what this does is Volcano Bay actually has virtual lines so you just walk up to the ride you want to go to you tap your tapu tapu and it vibrates when you come back it'll tell you like 10 15 minutes or whatever the, the line is and then you come back I'm actually really happy it ended up being a pretty day because it's hot now and before it was like super rainy you excited first trip to Volcano Bay poultry uh, like to catch up it's hot out here. I'm in long sleeve. I know. Yeah, right. Only man I know though wear a long sleeve, no matter what <laughs> temperature. <laughs> yes, he's gonna try to get footage for me. Another thing I will recommend with Volcano Bay is they have lockers all throughout the park. So don't go to the first set of lockers that you see as soon as you get in. You'll have a less wait time and easier access to your lockers instead of just fighting for everything. So good tip. which is 40 minutes. I'll show you how it looks like. See, it says 40 minutes. And then when that's up, it'll vibrate and then let us know that we can go on. We are just grabbing our cards because we are gonna go have some drinks. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't tell you the time, it doesn't link your card. Well, it links your card for lockers and stuff like that. But to get an alcoholic beverage, regardless, you have to have your ID, so you kind of have to go back and forth from the locker rooms. You guys ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Um, drinks. I do want to mention 
if you get one of their specialty beverages with their souvenir cup, you get cheaper refills. We have like for our home and every single time we come, we're like, oh, we're gonna bring them and we always forget. So yeah, yeah. I joined the boys at Kate's for um, a Long Island, which I haven't had in like five years, but cheers. That is the cup I was telling you guys about. Normal souvenir. $10. How much was this? 17 after tip, if you tip well. <laughs> how much was it before tip? $14.90. Ah, and how much are refills? $2, $2 off. So, okay. Oh, I think you said $2 off, but we're getting pleasure. I wonder if you get a little bit more with your cup then. Maybe. I don't know. It's definitely strong. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, but. Tequila! <laughs> so, the nice thing is, we were waiting for the water, the aqua coaster at Krakatau, and our original wait time was 65 minutes. To keep in mind, Saturday is a little busier. And I just got notified that it's ready. It said 15 minutes left, and I just got alerted that we can ride now. So, yay! All right, guys. So we've done a couple of slides now. We went into the little pool area. So now we're gonna go do their drop slides. I know that the big one is closed right now, but I think this temporarily, and then it'll reopen. So they have a couple other drop slides that we'll try. Walking through the volcano, which is actually one of my favorite parts about Volcano Bay because they have an interactive um, part in there that's really fun to go to, so I'll show it to you guys. water park we're gonna go back to the car get a couple things I wanted to let you know I got the white Tori cone I'm sorry I ate it all but I'm sure I showed you guys before this happened it is so good it tastes like tricks in an ice cream I know that sounds weird but I don't know how else to explain it we're just taking the private walkway back to Cabana Bay and the park actually closes at 7 today. We thought it closed at 6, so we had some more time. Go back to the car, take some breaks. Our room's ready. Enjoy the day. I also wanted to mention, don't forget when you're exiting the park, they actually have these little like photo kiosks. So what you do is you tap your Tabu Tabu and every ride that you went on that takes photos, it will show you them. And of course they're available for purchase, but those are some pretty funny photos. Me and Andrew look. <laughs> Very fascinating. <laughs> Look at these cabanas, how pretty they are. Available for rent, of course. You can also look at these digital signs throughout the park. They'll tell you what time is, you know, listed for the attraction and if it's right now or not.
finally ready, so we're gonna go check that out now, get showered, change up, and then go have some dinner. Hey guys, we made it into our room. We all sh showered and got clean after Volcano Bay. Yes, my chest got a little sunburned, but not too bad. And it was really overcast today, so I'm surprised. But I wanted to show you the suite that we upgraded to, and this is super great for families or even just groups here. So you have a little kitchenette. You have a microwave, you have a little fridge, coffee maker, um, ice bin, sink, some stools here. You have a whole living area and that also pulls out to um, a sofa bed as well. Storage, TV, and then you have the two beds over here. This actually closes too, so if you wanted more privacy, if you had someone sleeping on the bed out there, you would have that privacy. I don't like, do you see how little this space is to reach out and <laughs> use a drawer? That is not my favorite, but we have the two beds and nightstands. We have a full closet here, extra pillows, iron board, and a safe, which is, I always appreciate that. So you can kind of see here, it's really, really spacious. Another TV. So this is great. I'm sorry for the mess. We all just got ready. You have this whole area, the sink, um, has a blow dryer. Um, it's not really a strong one, so I brought my own. I always bring my own, but you have that. You have a toilet there, separate from the shower, which is amazing, especially if you have a group or a family. And you also have another sink here and mirror. So you have two mirrors and you can divide everything which I think is awesome yeah we really love this room it's really spacious we're gonna go grab some dinner we have not eaten all day other than those ice cream cones so we're gonna go do that I'm um, not quite sure yet but let's go cuz I'm starving hey guys, we came to International Drive kind of by the Orlando Eye which is this and you see this giant pole right there that's a lift that brings you all the way up and it is like the chairs the fair to like swing out it does that at like a hundred and something feet no thank you we are going to our house well we're gonna see what the weight is and then if anything this is a great spot to get a bunch of food there's restaurants everywhere back to the room we are so stuffed and tired we got a lot done today so we're gonna conclude this vlog here make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so that you're always notified when I go ahead and post new videos and please please stay tuned we have part two coming tomorrow we do Halloween Horror Nights we do the Stranger Things room in Cabana Bay Resort and I'm yeah. so so excited and please see you seeing me guys bye